There's three yo-yos in the line of Peter Fish yo-yos, and the reason there's three is because we wanted to make three yo-yos that would take a player from being an absolute beginner and allow them to get all the way to the master level tricks. And so each yo-yo, yo-1, yo-2, yo-3, or the originator, dominator, and luminator are specifically designed for a different type of player and different types of tricks. So in this video, I'm going to show you what those tricks are and how these yo-yos work. So let's start with the originator, yo-1. This yo-yo is the yo-yo for the absolute beginner, and it's got a couple of really cool features that make it great for players that have never yo-yoed before. Uh, the first thing is it's got a, a cool blue light that's built into it, which makes it kind of fun if you're just getting started and you just want to have a good time yo-yoing. Uh, but more importantly, it's got this built-in clutch mechanism. What that does is it allows the yo-yo to sleep, but before the spin's about to die, that clutch will actually grab onto the axle and bring the yo-yo back up to your hand, even if you never pull on it. And so this helps beginning players get over a lot of the early frustrations of yo-yoing because they don't have to be pulling it up all the time to get the yo-yo back up. The spin's not going to die out on them because the yo-yo is going to bring it up automatically. Uh, but it's also going to teach them how to get a good throw because if you don't throw the yo-yo hard enough, the yo-yo just won't sleep. So in order to get it to sleep, you have to throw it just a little bit harder. That'll help you to learn the basics. And that's the originator. Now, even though the originator can be used for your string tricks, and for looping tricks, it simply isn't as good for those tricks as Yo-2 and Yo-3 that I'm just about to show you. So if you're an ultimate beginner, I recommend getting this yo-yo, learn the basics, learn them from the videos on this website that I use this yo-yo to teach you, and that'll be a great place to start. From there, you want to want to move on to the Dominator and the Luminator, and each of these yo-yos is for a different type of trick. The Dominator as you can see, it's got this ultra-thin design. And what that's for is looping tricks. This makes it just a super great looping yo-yo. You can do all your different kinds of loops. You're inside, you're outside, you can go down, you can even go up into your punching bags, all sorts of different looping tricks. Uh, and it also makes it great for your two-handed tricks uh, because it's such a great looping yo-yo. It does have a ball bearing on the inside, so it'll sleep a really long time, which is great when you're doing your around the worlds, maybe in your two-handed routines. And because it's so thin, it fits into your pocket nicely, even if you've got two of them, if you're trying to become a, a great two-handed player. Now, its thin design does make it more difficult to do string tricks using this yo-yo. And so even though you can see that you can land the yo-yo on the string and do these tricks because it has a ball bearing in it, it's not going to work as well for those tricks as the Luminator. Now, the Luminator, it's got this ultra-wide design, which is going to make it perfect for learning those string tricks and all the different string tricks are just going to be so much easier on this yo-yo because that's exactly what it's designed for. Now, because it's wide, it also makes it a little bit more difficult to do your looping tricks. And so even though you can do your loops with this yo-yo, it's going to be quite a bit more difficult because that narrow design is better for looping. Uh, the other thing that this yo-yo is good for are tri tricks that are called flips. And this is, instead of looping the yo-yo like this, this is where you actually have a back and forth motion like this. And again, the wide design makes it really ideal to learn those types of tricks. And so throughout all the different videos on this website, I'm going to use the yo-yo that is best suited to the type of trick that I'm trying to teach you. And so as you're going through, you'll know which yo-yo is the best yo-yo for that trick. And so we hope that this helps you get started and to know which yo-yo is going to be good for you. And uh, we're doing the, everything that we can to help you go from being an absolute beginner into a grand master, so we hope that this helps you out.